The competitive world of gaming is hitting Spokane Public Schools as two clubs have been formed so far. I would explain esports as a kind of a team as a team activity. We need you now. That everyone of any skill level can join in and have fun. You know that thing that you do like just to let loose for a bit like after you come home from like a long day. Yeah, think of that, but it's a bit more competitive. Yes, There's an esports club at Rogers High School where they average about 25 to 30 students. Me and the athletic director um, collaborated our efforts and applied for a grant and were awarded a very generous grant through the Hagen Foundation uh, and we had enough to purchase 12 brand new gaming computers which is totally is game changers. Just open up the door because now the sky's the limit on all the game titles that we can compete in. The thing about teaching somebody is that it's difficult because these guys are freshmen too. They're new to school as well here. So we're teaching them how to respect people. We're teaching them how to play the game right. New Tech Prep also has an eSports club. Wow, that's a sour victory. I love video games in general, and I always have had a passion about them. And I love the teamwork and being able to be participating in something that I enjoy in. That's a team activity. A lot of games, I really like the adventure aspect of getting to explore different areas and level up and unlock different things. That's really fun. Both clubs compete for the Washington State Scholastic Esports Association. So there's everything from what they call MOBA games, multiplayer online battle arenas, games like League of Legends and Dota 2 and things like that. There's other competitive fighting games like Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat and Super Smash Bros is a big title. There's games like uh, Rocket League, which are you know soccer with flying cars. So there's all kinds of games you compete in. Some are solo tournaments, some are team-based games. And so the kids, just like any sports team, they work on skills of teamwork and cooperation and strategy and all kinds of things like that that go into being a team except they're doing it on a computer or a video game device and so when we compete we play with teams uh, around Washington in, in a play versus league we did in the spring we played teams from California and Oregon and other schools so they are online in real time playing against other schools. Even in the off season students take advantage of this safe space. This is probably one of the greatest spaces I have ever been present in to date and so being able to let loose and actually do something that I, I've loved for actually a few years now is, is very fun. I think that's a very important part of life is uh, to find people that you can just be yourself around, have similar interests, which is not always a necessity, but it is a nice thing to have. The hope is for eSports to become a sanctioned sport in the state of Washington in the future. It kind of starts at the club level and all these schools have these clubs going, they're competing, but then it's like, hey, they're competing just like every other sport. And so they're they're not out in the field, but there's a lot of the same, you know, mental toughness and strategy and physicality that goes along with it. I think it'd be extremely fantastic for everyone because it's not only taking something that originally people thought was just some, some dumb form of entertainment. They can get jobs off of it, get to go to college for it. Even. It would be fantastic for to be able to imagine a world where people can go and enjoy it and spend, be able to do their dreams without so much pushing against them.